so I'm the kind of person that whenever I want to buy makeup, I like buying makeup online. I don't like going into the stores because when I walk into your shop and you sell makeup, it's like I'm in a candy store and I want to buy as much as I want. Forgetting the fact that I'm a broke babe. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sandra Boname, and if you're new to this channel, welcome. You're in the right place. Please subscribe. It's super easy. All you need to do is click on the subscribe button down below and you've gotten access to premium content. If you've been watching my videos but you haven't subscribed yet, I'm here to tell you, don't know, it's the best time for you to subscribe. And if you've been watching my videos consistently and you've subscribed already, you mean the world to me. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for supporting my hustle. In today's video, I am going to be talking about a quick makeup haul that I did over the past three months. I'm emphasizing the duration because these products are quite expensive and they were heavy duty in terms of money. So I couldn't buy all of them all at the same time. Um, the essence of this review is just so that in case you want to buy these products, you would understand how good or how not good they are before you invest such have um, a huge amount of money in this product, makeup product. Um, so over the course of this video, I am going to give a review and then I would use it on my face so you can see how good you know it, it is or how not good it is. And I would also let you know the prices in Nigeria Naira here in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, if you are interested in this content, now will be the best time for you to sit down and relax and enjoy my video yep so first on the list would definitely be this all-nighter um makeup fixer spray by ferrarushi i remember seeing a popular makeup artist using it on her page and it was cheaper than um the urban decay um all nighter spray so i was like you know what let me get this one i think i bought it for either seven or nine thousand naira from seeing this creation on instagram you can go and patronize her this is not a paid ad or anything but like she sells very authentic um makeup products at pretty discounted prices so um i got it from her i've used it about twice or three times it has this very funny smell it smells like plastic to be very honest and it's very sticky and because it's so sticky i would expect that it would do the job like to the t but unfortunately i have realized that this product doesn't prevent my makeup from transferring i remember using it one day and then i hugged a friend of mine and on his white shirt there was like a lot of my face on the shirt so i'm like nah this doesn't really do much for me if i'm looking for any spray that is going to give me like transfer proof makeup i would most likely recommend or suggest um the benign setting spray oh my god that spray is the holy grail it is amazing it's once you use it your makeup is not moving anywhere like it stays like on your face i think it's really used for like costume like people that do costume and all that that's why it's super good i use the benai as well but unfortunately mine is almost finished and i've been looking for where to get um that product that's one of the reasons why i opted for this one and this is cheaper though so i opted for this one thinking that i was going to do the same thing for me i remember checking online trying to see reviews about this product and i don't think i saw much so this is me reviewing it for you um if you don't mind the plastic smell and if you are not really so big on transferable makeup then you can get this if you are this is not for you the second product i'm going to talk about is definitely this nars natural radiant long wear foundation so i've been a nas babe for as long as i remember and when i say i'm a nas babe i don't mean that i have a lot of their products i think i have just one of their products excluding this one and that's their highlighter but um i've always wanted to try out the foundation i see when makeup artists use it or when people use it and it looks so velvety and so beautiful so i decided i was going to get this but every time i wanted to get it my brain would tell me how expensive it is because it retails for about 20 to thirty thousand naira in different stores in lagos nigeria so i kept wondering if i was ready to um invest that amount of money on foundation when my newborn beauty is giving me like such a good steal for my money or my maybelline super stays you know it's still there 
but um one day i woke up and i'm like you know what sandra i get it it's been on your mind so i bought it for twenty four thousand naira i do not remember where exactly i bought it but um i was really happy that i bought this shade in zambi when i was buying it i was confused because they have like a range a very good range of dark shades and i wasn't sure if this was going to be my exact shade but to god be the glory it is my exact shade and when you see me use it in like the following videos you will see that it matches my skin tone absolutely well um so far i've used it about three times it is quite oily so if you have oily skin this wouldn't really work well for you like i mentioned i have combination skin so sometimes it's dry sometimes it's oily and on the days that my skin is dry this looks absolutely amazing like beautiful but the days that my skin is oily uh it's uh it's still good but it's not the best you know so i recommend this i like it if you have the money go for it it's actually a pretty decent foundation absolutely love it and i do not regret buying it at all <laughs> all right the third on the list would definitely be this urban decay all nighter um long lasting makeup setting spray this is the small one um so I remember that I've, I've used Urban Decay before. This was like a long time ago, like two, three years ago, when dollar was still pretty reasonable. But immediately the dollar prices went up. It was almost impossible for me to buy it. The big bottle cost about 18,000 Naira in Nigerian stores. I think that's the cheapest I've seen. I've seen some people sell for 22K, depending on where you want to buy. So when I traveled and I was coming back through Qatar, I stopped at Duty Free and I bought this one. I remember that the big bottle was also available, but I can't for the life of me remember why I bought this instead. I think I was broke and uh, not broke. Well, I think I didn't want to spend so much dollars because I wanted to have dollars at hand. So um, I eventually bought this small bottle. In Nigeria, this small bottle costs about 12K. I bought it about $12, which is about 6,000, 7,000 ish. So it was a good buy for me from duty free now I actually wish i bought the big bottle because it's i'm almost running out i use it a lot especially when i'm going to a place where i know that i'm going to dance sweat and i want my makeup to last all night all day this setting spray is your best friend if you can afford it i would advise that you buy the big bottle and just enjoy your money because it's it is worth it to be very honest next is this huda beauty tanto contour and bronzer bronzer cream so for huda beauty i don't have a lot of their products i think i have only one of their lip stains that's like a long time ago i can't even find it i don't know why i dropped it i don't know if someone took it but i really haven't used huda beauty like that um i'm currently in the phase of buying their foundation the most talked about one and when i get it i'm actually going to do a review as well but that's not the point so i'm the kind of person that whenever i want to buy makeup i like buying makeup online I don't like going into the stores because when I walk into your shop and you sell makeup, it's like I'm in a candy store and I want to buy as much as I want. Forgetting the fact that I'm a broke babe. <laughs> you know, forgetting the fact that it's going to cost a lot of money. So I remember walking into um, Beauty Mart NG in Surulere. I wanted to buy, I think I wanted to buy like a body scrub. And then I just met, met the attendant and I'm like, oh, do you guys have any contour? um cream that i could use now the reason why i was specifying what i wanted is because i have a couple of contour products but because of how dark i am they literally are my exact shade so when i use it it doesn't do anything for me so she told me that ah, that she had this huda beauty product and it costed eighteen thousand naira so i'm like ah i'm not gonna buy it though but then again i saw that and i'm like mm, sandra maybe you want to buy it don't you think it would look good having that as part of your collection and then i went back i literally stepped out of the um, shop and then i went back in and i bought this and i like it they have five different shades and this is the darker shade in and it's called rich um prior to buying it i've never read about it never seen it never bothered to look for it but eventually i did look for it online and i saw that it had a lot of good reviews i like it i've used it twice and it's adequately contours my face without looking so harsh at all um it's pretty good for my skin tone it shows which is the most important thing and i don't think it's a bad idea that i bought it i think i won't call it a steal though i wish there were other products that would be similar quality at a cheaper price but unfortunately i didn't find that so 
Last but not least, last but not least, last but not least, I purchased these Fenty Beauty lip cream. I bought the four different shades. These are the popular shades and I decided to go for them. Now, I've always been a Fenty lip products babe. I have like a set of their lip gloss. I like, I have the foundation. I have their um, powder, the blotting powder. I have all that stuff. So when I saw this, I was excited to get it. So I bought it from Sephora. A friend of mine was coming in country and then helped me get it. However, if you want to buy this in Nigeria, it costs about 16,000 Naira per one. So this is for so 64,000. Yes, makeup is quite expensive. And um, it is obviously value for your money. Like it is so good. However, if you don't want to spend so much money on lip products, you can also get Nigerian brands that will give you similar quality. For example, if you get the Nuban Beauty lip glosses, you would get something similar. Obviously not like this, but something similar, right? Um, so those are literally all the products that I bought over the past three months. I have decided to not do a total calculation so I do not cry, but I'm happy that I have purchased these items and I'm going to be showing you how I use them. Stay tuned. Peace.
Okay, guys, so I wanted to do my lashes off camera because <laughs> my lashes is always a lot of work because of how coily it is. I am about to do my last step, which is using the Urban Decay All Nighter. I don't think I want to use the Ferrari um, Fixer Spray today. It has this funny smell and um, it's quite sticky. And you know when it's sticky and it's not doing the job, it's actually very, very annoying. But this one is pretty decent, so I'm going to be using this now. right so um yeah so this is the makeup look using most of the product in fact literally almost all the products that i got from my makeup haul and i'm heading out and um i just wanted to do it like a quick get ready with me um so you guys would you know see me and all that cute stuff uh i really hope you guys enjoyed this video it wasn't really supposed to be like a hard how to do makeup videos just like a quick makeup haul and you know me showing you you know what I achieve using the makeup products that I bought um if you haven't subscribed to my channel now be a good time to subscribe you know <laughs> now be a good time to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for sticking with me thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time